Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for March 2021 for the sign of Libra. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your first Oracle card. I've got a few Oracle cards to pull and then we'll go into the Tarot cards. So what do we have for Libra please? Angel Spirits Guides, what is the message from Spirit? I'm going to choose the first one Libra. Oh, it's already turned over. <laughs> So we have count your blessings, isn't that lovely? And a need to be decisive. Okay. So message from Spirit Please, Angel Spirits Guides. What does Libra need to hear for March 2021? I flew out. My goodness. Okay. We have be proud. It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud. Lovely energy there, Libra. Okay, message for Libra, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Librans. Thank you. Hmm, interesting one we have timing is critical celestial gatekeeper it's a number seven which is a, a master number libra spiritual guidance you're being watched over but definitely this energy of something to do with timing is critical on this it could well be being decisive will allow you to count your blessings in some in some way it's like, you know, oh, thank good I just thank goodness I decided to do this or it feels that kind of energy. Timing is critical. I'm so pleased I just acted when I did, you know. Hedgehog, be a magnet for light, love and joy. <laughs> That's lovely, Archangel Gabriel. Okay. So I'm gonna pull three cards, Libra. The first card is the message from spirit. Second card is what the message pertains to. And the third card is final words of advice. So what do we have for Libra, please? Angels, Spirit's Guides, message for our lovely Librans. What is the message from Spirit for Libra for March 2021? Thank you. Okay. We have the Knight of Swords. Six of Swords and the King of Swords. <laughs> okay, bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. Okay, Libra. For some of you, the Knight of Swords is is definitely this energy. I mean, it's a card of Gemini. We have we have also um, Aquarius and Scorpio energies here. Could be people in your life or part of your sign. The Knight of Swords is. It feels like some news or information is coming to light here that is bringing some kind of positive shift. And again, I'm definitely getting any information, news, piece of information coming to light. There's a message it's to do with timing, act on it, respond to it quickly, be decisive, because again, there's a feeling of being decisive will enable you to count your blessings. And why is that? What does it pertain to? Well, the Six of Swords is a card of moving from choppy waters to calmer waters. So it definitely feels like there's some shift available to you, some progress. But it's almost kind of like it's down to some kind of timing here. But it feels that if you act quickly, decisively, you will allow yourself to transition. Now, you know, the Six of Swords is a card of change. Yes, it's moving from troubled waters to calmer waters. It's also a card of transition where you might not be at the end game yet, but you're going in the right direction. You know, you're heading towards calmer waters, good times ahead. So it feels for some of you 
I mean, this can be about moving jobs, moving homes, life transitions, life changes. Um, but it's putting you in the right direction. So it feels like acting quickly, decisively will enable you to count your blessings. And that's definitely what I'm, that's what I'm feeling. Because the King of Swords, I'm definitely, I mean, it's Aquarian energy, but I'm definitely seeing this as you. Uh, the King of Swords, male or female energy, is somebody who has the mental clarity to act. They just make their mind up in an instant. It's real air in their energy. So, you know, air energy is to do with the mind, somebody who has mastery of the mind. It feels like you're making your mind up very quickly to do with something here, and it's going to pay off. And you'll realize, oh, thank goodness I acted when I did. Because for some of you, there's definitely this energy of you'll have an opportunity to count your blessings. King of Cups is a card of, I mean, it's a card of Scorpio, so it could be to do with... I mean, the King of Cups represents, can be to do with matters of the heart. So in terms of love, romance, relationships. Um, yeah, male or female energy, like again, but it could be there's somebody of influence in your life in terms of love, romance, relationships. That if you act quickly, there will be an opportunity to get balance back. Again, the King of Cups is emotionally balanced. Um, it's also an energy of rising above a situation as an energy. It will enable you to rise above a situation that could potentially have... have you might have been dealing with some kind of challenge here, Libra, or troubles, and there's a feeling of, of sinking, but if you act quickly, it's almost kind of like that is the window of opportunity to to deal with a situation, to move forward, to rise above something. So I'm going to, let's see what's underneath this. Yeah, to get your heart's desire. So, I mean, this could be in terms of new love. It could be in terms of um, coming through a difficult time in, or something that might have challenged you as a couple. Um the Nine of Cups is real happiness, reasons to be thankful. I'm so pleased I acted when I did. So it feels this could be in terms of something that might have affected your relationship or within your relationship, but it's definitely an energy of you. Are, well, you will have reasons to be thankful here. This is the wish fulfillment card. So a wish is being granted, getting your heart's desire, but it's acting now, timing is critical, and you will have the opportunity to count your blessings, either in matters to do with the heart or something that's affected your relationship. Okay, so I'm gonna pull a final message. You'll count your blessings. I like the energy of count your blessings. It's really standing out very strongly for me. I love the energy here. We have number 10. Interestingly, 10 is that that energy of endings and beginnings so talk to us we are listening we are listening and again it's to do with some kind of transitional energy it could be towards endings and beginnings here opening new doors timing is critical love the energy i hope you enjoyed the reading libra if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month for you all and i will see you next time thank you